Android 11. I put Android 11 on my Pixel 4a the other day. And I charged the phone to 100%. And right now it's going through its battery life. Right now it's going through, like I'm, I'm doing battery testing with it. The only reason I bring this up is because Team Verai was talking about how his Pixel 3a all of a sudden has so much better battery life. And it's hard when people say that. In my head, I'm like, yeah, but really, how much better is it going to be? So like, I didn't think much of it, really didn't think much of it. But here's the thing. You guys have known, I've been testing the battery on my Pixel 4a now for three weeks, and I actually have not missed a beat. I put a video out when I use it for like a week or whatever, and the battery life on my Pixel 4a is incredible. I've said it many times, I still stand by it. I am able to get about five hours screen on time on my Pixel 4a, and I usually get about, I would say, 25 to 30 hours off the charger. So I'm able to get five hours of screen on time while still getting over a full day plus off the charger. Those are great, great numbers for a $350 phone with the battery size that it has. Here's the thing. I installed Android 11 on it the other day. <laughs> I posted this on Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you can uh, find me at Phone Jerome. But on Twitter, I posted this tweet. I said, okay, wait. Off the charger. So when I posted this at, what time did I post this? Does it show here? It doesn't. Oh, at 12.47 p.m. So I posted this three hours ago, guys, three hours ago. Um, so right now, my Pixel 4a is off the charger for 41 hours. So not quite two days, but getting there. Off the charger, 38 hours. I had 13% left on the battery, and I had five hours and 30 plus minutes of screen on time. Right here, five hours and 32 minutes of screen on time with 13% battery left and 38 hours off the charger. I haven't had, I've had good battery life. I'm a Pixel 4a, I've told you that. This is, this is a new record, I think, for me. This is a new record. I don't think I've had that much good battery life. I'd have to look. I'd have to look and double check. But, but here, here's the thing. It's 3.51 p.m. now. It's three hours past that tweet. I'm, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull up the battery life for you just so you can see what kind of battery I'm getting right now. So right now, I'm at 6% battery life. Six six percent battery life. I'm trying to like get this to focus. I don't think it. There you go. Six percent. Well, it kind of did. God damn it. Whatever. Six percent battery life. And if you can see here, uh, six hours, guys. Six hours and ten minutes of screen on time with six with six percent battery life left. Just so you know just so you understand how long the phone has been off the charger to show you I'm not lying to you it's been off the charger for 1 day and 17 hours so um uh <laughs> 40 41 hours that's what i said it's been it's been off the charger it's been off the charger for 41 hours and it has over 6 hours of screen on time this is only the first day on Android 11. I'm not saying that Android 11 is going to make the battery that much better, but we'll see for tomorrow because I'm about to charge this to 100% and we're going to do it all over. And maybe Android 11 really is trying to maximize the way you use battery life on the phone. I haven't changed anything on my Pixel 4a. I haven't changed anything on it. So maybe Android 11 is really saving some battery. Maybe it's actually doing something that it's saying it's doing. We'll see. This is just one day. So we'll see how this really fares as time goes on. Team Rise says, I should note that it was with moderate use, YouTube and video streaming, music playing, web browsing and messaging. Yeah, uh, to be fair, the things that I use my phone for is, and I'll, I'll show you here so you see it. 
You see Spotify, right? I use a lot of Spotify. I go for like daily walks. And so because this has been used for more than two days, there's over three hours of Spotify use. There's two hours of YouTube use, Chrome for 45 minutes, Telegram for 55 minutes, Instagram for half an hour, Reddit for 15 minutes, Twitter for 20 minutes, the camera only five minutes, and then Gmail for five minutes, Amazon, and like those are much less. But yes, the basics. So nothing crazy, nothing super heavy. I'm not gaming on it, but still six hours of screen on time is pretty incredible. And that's not all Wi-Fi either. That's also me being out using cellular, um, you know, LTE coverage. Again, I told you guys, I, I do about like an hour and a half to two hours, like when I'm using Spotify, walking out. So like there's still a good amount being used, not using Wi-Fi. So, so far, so good when it comes for battery, when it comes to battery life. Again, we'll see how that fares as time goes on. Krishna says, waiting for this. It's been really good for me too on my 4XL. That's great. Standby battery has been so good after the update. I charge it only once since then. It's on 42% now. Charge it to 100% 5 p.m. yesterday. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, that makes me happy to hear because maybe that'll make the battery much better on the Pixel 4. Um, Big House says, that's great for that size battery. The 4A looks solid. It really does. Zane Bay says, damn, that sounds really encouraging. It is. It really is. Um, Krishna says, I didn't put it back on my charger after I saw your tweet this morning. I'm going to test it too. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, Austin says that sounds good. It really does. Uh, Zane says, do you think it's going to benefit all phones on Android 11? Well, I mean, look, people are already saying that it, it, it's already showing some kind of effect. So maybe it will. Um, Dugumeister, am I saying that right? Dugumeister, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Think six inches is the best size for a phone. That's what she said. 